day before we left to go to Los Angeles to record my second album, I had to do a photo shoot for the new album artwork. I felt a bit weird posing for photos for an album that hadn't been recorded yet, but I was working with great creative people at Jackson in Brisbane and we all had really clear ideas of what we wanted. I was a little distracted though, just thinking about the journey ahead. Can you go and be outside the world for a few months and leave me alone? <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> Tomorrow? Okay. Yeah, sorted. We packed our bags, said goodbye to our little home studio where Kira and I have been demoing songs for the last two months and met the band at the airport. I was feeling a little trepidatious at the whole idea of going over to the other side of the world to work with a producer that none of us had even met before. I mean, he sounded nice on the phone and his work was great, but still. I'd never been to LA before and to be honest it was never a place I'd felt the urge to visit. It's quite surreal, yet familiar at the same time. We all had jet lag too. Uh, I'm coming out of the shower. Do you mind? <laughs> We're staying in Pasadena, right near Mickey's studio, Hot Pies, which will be our second home for the next two months. Working with Mickey has been incredible. He's a bit of an eccentric genius. He's produced a lot of great albums by people like Beck, Peaches and Flight of the Concords, who we're all massive fans of. I decided to adopt Magoo's track-by-track -track planning system that we use for Little Eve. Playing the new songs with the band for the first time was a real buzz. Ben and Steve are such amazing musicians and they've really helped bring the songs to life. Being overseas for this recording has given me a fresh perspective on a lot of things. I'm going to sit next to Spew, <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. It's been an intensely creative experience. Ideas are sparking off ideas, and it's a wonderful thing.